Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. It's a beautiful summer day here at the house. It's just past 10 a.m. and it's already 93 degrees. Over the last few hours, I've been washing the Porsche GT3 and the Audi R8, and I also just vacuum the carpets. I usually try my best on not to get them too dirty. Now over the last week here I've been working here on the 1999 F350. I do have the 4 inch lift hidden salt here on it which looks awesome. I really do like it and it definitely gives the truck a better stance. One thing I am looking into, I'm not sure if it's possible but I really want to color match the bumper and I think we'll leave the uh, stock grill here. I think that's probably what we'll do next and I did also end up uh, putting the new bed cover in. I actually am waiting on the piece, uh, the last part there for the tailgate. Now as I was out here cleaning the cars, our neighbor came by and let me know he just picked up a new to him uh, Corvette, so why don't we walk over there and take a look. Now today I do have a few things planned, but we'll just kind of see what happens as we kind of go through today, and it looks like he has it here under a car cover. Now he did say it was a C6 Corvette Z06, he didn't tell me what color anything about it, and he said that he did leave the keys on the inside, so why don't we uh, get going here, let's lift up the cover and we'll peel it back. Back. And take a look at this. Wow, this is one pretty cool uh, Z06. Looks to be in pretty mint condition. Now, he did say it has some pretty low mileage of just over 13,000 miles. I really do like this a lot. Whoa, uh, this thing is pretty sweet. It's always a lot of fun uh, to see the neighbors get cool cars and trucks. He actually bought a Ram. I believe it was a 2500 in red as well. So, he must like red, which is awesome. So, let's hop here on the inside. I do just want to kind of take a look here on the first person view. Whoa, look at that. That's red stitching. Uh, this uh, just looks awesome here. And let's get it turned on. Oh, that is one loud big old V8 here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that looks awesome. And that is one pretty cool car here. So why don't we put it back under the cover and let's head back to the house. Overall, I really, uh, maybe down the road, uh, we could get one of those, and those are pretty affordable, just around thirty to 40000 Now, if you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like. It lets me know you uh, like it, but it also helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Now, over the last few days, the kids have been riding the uh, three-wheeler Honda, the 1984 model, and I have some very bad news I have to share, guys. We blew the motor on the Honda, so uh, what we are going to do is we'll be dropping this off at our local uh, dealership, and they will be giving us a brand new motor. The motor is, I believe, just over $600. I was very surprised. I, I almost thought that was two, 3000 just for that, so we'll have to push it up into uh, the F-250 Tremor, and one thing I think we'll do today I just thought of it, uh, it did come in as we will color match the bumpers. Many of you guys requested that, so when we get back, uh, we will do that. And also, while we are out and about, uh, we will be picking up a hedge trimmer because I really want to trim the bushes here. I've really been enjoying all the videos here on the channel. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I can't wait for everything to come here. Just letting it warm up here for a few moments, and we are good to go. Perfect. I am trying to be as realistic as possible, but there is kind of a uh, extent that I can go to it. I can't be too realistic all the time because we have to have fun, and uh, we just uh, want to be entertaining as well. Let's see if we what we can do. I might have to kind of shout to one of the kids to see if they'll give us a hand here. This is going to be a little bit of uh, kind of heavy uh, lifting here, muscle. And I think we are good to go. Let's just double check there. And perfect. Actually, I did activate that. Nope. Uh, we want it to fall back. And there we go. Awesome. I'm not really sure how this will completely uh, kind of go up, but uh, let's give it a try here. So let's put it in neutral. And let's see if we can kind of push it up onto the trailer. Oh, yeah. We are already pushing it. We'll push it up the ramps, not onto a trailer in the back of the bed and look at that perfect pulling a little bit of a wheelie and there we go so we got it uh, there we'll uh, put just a strap there so it doesn't roll around and uh, let's head on out I've really been enjoying the homeowner series here it's been a lot of fun so far and I do have a lot planned here with it just a lot of fun things and you guys seem to have been really enjoying it now, Ford is announcing the new 2021 uh, Ford Raptor, which is pretty cool, so maybe we could pick one of those up. Maybe the new Bronco or even the 2021 F-150. So let me know if we should get one of those. Maybe if uh, we could get a 2021 Raptor, we'll sell this Tremor. I think that would be a pretty nice and fun thing to do. 
I hope everyone's been having a great summer so far. Let me know how it is down below. Mine's uh, been very busy. I've been doing a few projects. I've actually been building a brand new desk over the last week, week and a half, and I will be uh, showing that off in uh, my uh, new setup video coming probably within the next month. And I am also working on a very big project. I really don't want to reveal it until it's 100% and many of you guys will really like it here. So I actually just came over here to the dealership first uh, to pick up our hedge trimmer. So I think we'll just put the hedge trimmer just in front. We'll put the tailgate down. So we'll get that really quickly. And uh, this was a great price. $200 for this uh, Husqvarna hedge trimmer. Uh, that is awesome. We'll be doing some trimming today. And there we have it. I was able to put it right in front of the three-wheeler Honda there. It was a bit tricky, uh, but there was no problem. Now, one thing I am thinking about doing later today is maybe taking the kids out uh, to dinner. I think that's probably the perfect time uh, to do it. Maybe we'll go to a steakhouse. But let me know down below, guys, where do you guys like uh, to eat and what types of food? I really uh, like steakhouses and uh, just all of the different uh, types of food as well. But let's get this unloaded here. And we really don't have any time because I really want to put this new hedge trimmer to work. I think that'll be a ton of fun to do and actually really exciting here. So let's get this rolled off here. Really wished uh, this uh, did work here but this is going to be a little tricky to get and let's see what we could do perfect we'll just kind of put in neutral rolls right off whoa i'm actually very surprised we were able to control it there but there we go we got the old honda the 1984 i'm actually very surprised the engine lasted uh, so far i was actually kind of joking with the kids saying i knew it was going to happen just didn't know when and we'll put that up and head on back I've really been enjoying uh, the switch over here to the steering wheel and the panel. I've been using it probably for the last uh, almost two months, I would say, and it's been awesome. Now, coming here with the homeowner series, I really do want to just try to keep doing projects around the house. I don't always want to buy a new truck, new toy every uh, single weekend. So that's not going to be the goal uh, going forward here. And I think maybe in a month or two, we will look into definitely getting ourselves a new property on a new map. So that will be uh, pretty uh, cool. Now, if you guys have not already, I do uh, recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there and some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel as well. A lot of cool things I've been sharing with you guys over there as well. And perfect. So let's leave the head trimmer here. Uh, let's get the 1025R. I actually want to get out the utility wagon so we can put the uh, clippings in. We should be able to attach to this, I believe. Uh, we should be able to, and I don't think we'll have a problem. Coming around back here and let's hop on off here. Now this will be a little tricky but it should be able uh, to just kind of slide right out here. Going to use a little bit of muscle. Let's see what we could do. A little bit of muscle. Quite a lot just kind of uh, balancing it back and forth here and here we go. Let's bring it out. Now I'm very surprised if it doesn't connect uh, but it definitely should be able to. I'm really excited. I think this is our first time getting to use this as well which is pretty neat. We'll put the hedge trimmer in the back and we'll just go around and uh, trim those bushes in the front of the house. And here we are. We just brought it over here. Now, one thing I will be doing is buying the uh, three-point attacher that has the actual hitch on it. I think that will come in a bit more handy here. But first time getting to use it, which is uh, pretty awesome here. I really don't want to buy things to just sit in the shed or the garages. I want to drive them. I want to put them to work here. Let's see if we could pick the hedge trimmer up. And here we go. So I actually came out of the truck. No problem here for us, which is awesome. And I'm just really excited to give it a try here. So we'll just do a little bit of head trimming here to these bushes. And we should actually be able to rotate this as well. So let's see if we could uh, rotate it out just a little bit and see what we could do. Perfect. And let's get head trimming. We'll do a few here on this one and we'll keep going here. Now I still have lots of projects planned here for us. I'm actually considering removing all the mulch and switching over to decorative stone. I think that's probably the way to go here for us. I'm probably only trimming probably about an inch worth of uh, clippings off here. But oh yeah, these already look a whole lot better here. So we'll probably do three, four more of these. And then we'll go check up on diesel. And uh, I think we'll go sit in the gazebo for a little bit. And then we'll catch you guys later. 
Now, if you do have any cool feedback here to improve my videos or just great advice, let me know down below. I'm always uh, reading the comments. I try to respond to almost every single one. It takes a lot of time, but it's something I really do enjoy. And look at that guys, this brand new Husqvarna head trimmer just is working really good here for us. We only actually have a few more here though. Ones we planted last week, uh, we will not uh, be doing, but hopefully the Honda gets fixed. I actually haven't even asked how long uh, it is going to be. Perfect, and let's do this last one here. Awesome, and the other two haven't been grown too much. Definitely uh, do not like the shade there, but we'll just leave the head trimmer over here, and I will probably put it back here off camera. But let's head around to the other side and get going on uh, doing that. I actually want to close these garage doors, and one thing that I am considering as well is switching from a uh, steel trailer to an aluminum. I think that might be the way to go, and I actually also really want to pave this, maybe even patio uh, pavers will be uh, awesome. But actually, I just realized we have to put uh, the uh, color match uh, wrap on the bumper so let's do that really quickly and then we'll go check up on diesel there's just so many projects here I'm just trying to pick and choose which ones we do in each video and I think getting this done will be a great thing for us to do and we'll just kind of pull it over here I'll run inside and grab the uh, box of the wrap and we'll put it on and there we have it guys we have the uh, color match bumpers which look awesome and a few of you guys actually let me know uh, that it comes factory from Ford with uh, it being color matched that was a mistake I made when I was specking the truck out but overall I will have to say this thing looks awesome now one thing I really want to do I think we might do it tomorrow since I do have a little bit of extra wrap is I want to wrap the handles and I also want to uh, have the uh, mirror caps in the matching blue I really do prefer wrap over just a uh, painting and that way uh, we could return it back to stock here but let's go check up here on diesel and let's jump in the pool it looks like looking at my phone now it's almost 100 degrees at whoa that is pretty warm here but let's head over here diesel should be running and uh, the kids have also been really enjoying the swim set there but let's run in the pool and i hope you guys are excited for what's to come in the coming weeks lots and lots of cool videos thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more